blow by the officials. I didn't see his start relative to the lights, but relative to Mark Scaife, he was definitely creeping. So Scaife now, is he going to inherit the lead of this one? Keep in mind, we've got compulsory tyre change coming up between laps 8 and 18. So there's plenty more could unfold in this drama-packed weekend at Eastern Creek Raceway. You're riding with Mark Scaife, the reigning Shell Series champion. He would have had the word now that Murphy has to attend this stop-go penalty. So he won't be pushing too hard to try and get in front of the Kmart car. The order at the moment is Murphy, Scaife, Bright, Radisic, Brad Jones. Great start from the Aussie Mail Ford. He's in fifth. John Bow in sixth. Cameron McLean in seventh. And they've shown the black flag down to Murphy. Here is the star. You see it creeping uh, relative to Scaife, but of course we're not seeing the lights. But officials have adjudged that to be a jump start. It's another grey area in the sport at the moment. Gee, I think if you advertised a job as a V8 supercar official in the paper now, you'd get many takers, wouldn't you? It's going to be the toughest job in the business at the moment. Well, it's not really. If you're consistent, is it, at the end of the day? I mean, there wouldn't be any, there would be no criticism if everything, everybody was treated in the same yeah, way exactly. for the same offence. Bowers moved up to fifth, Brad Jones back to sixth. Let's go through the order. It's McLean, then Morris, then Richards, Ambrose, then Longhurst, McDougall, Kelly, Glenn Seaton, Stevie Johnson, Garth Panda, David Bernard, Russell Ingle, Cameron McConville, Jason Barguana. It's your top 20. Can't see... Uh, He's there, but he's not showing. Not showing, our not showing up reason. on our timing monitor for some reason. But he's in there. You can see him sitting in behind the Pertec Ford. So hopefully uh, they'll sort that problem with the official timing system and get Lounge back on the board. But there he is, sitting in behind Marcus Ambrose, supposedly in 11th place. So these guys have been dealt a tough blow. The equivalent of I should explain that the stop-go penalty they were awarded. The officials deem that a stop-go penalty here is worth 29 seconds in terms of race time. Here comes Murphy now to serve his stop-go. Flying down to pit lane. Steam coming out of the roof. And now he has to stick to this regulated 60 kilometre hour speed limit in pit lane. Well, Greg Murphy would be absolutely fuming with his car. 51 comes in. Ray Robbins standing wide. <laughs> Murphy given the stop-go penalty. Boy, that was a bit rusty, that, wasn't it? I'm not sure whether he got the... Well, I just saw I just saw Ray Robbins showing him the red again. Like yes, he, like, I think he's going to get called back in again. I don't think he actually came to a complete stop. You saw Ray Robbins turn the lollipop from green back to red again. You're right, Mark, in my opinion. Yeah, I would definitely say you're right. He didn't come to a complete stop. There's no doubt about that, because Ray, Ray flipped it over again, didn't he? Well, there you are. There's Ray Robbins and Tony Manson from Avesco. Greg Rust is on the spot as well, and he'll give us the, the story there. But look, didn't look like Ray Robbins was happy at all with that stop go. We must remind Rusty to comb the back of his hair just in case <laughs> shots like this ever <laughs> actually bob up in the telecast. Well, uh, drama upon drama for Greg Murphy and the Kmart racing team. Mark Scape now is your race leader. Jason Bright takes over second, so it's an HRT 1-2. Paul Radisic in third now we believe this coming together between ray robbins now rob crawford the kmart racing team manager is down there having a deep discussion so there's plenty of blowing going on here in pit lane can, can do can do i believe uh, greg russ has got the story well i can tell you boys that it has been given the okay team boss rob crawford came down to have a word with ray robbins and some of the officials here they said well rob crawford's a bit inconsistent with this uh, with this paddle which has got a red and a green on it green for go red for stop for that stop go penalty in the end they conceded it was a stop go it's been completed Murphy's back out there well the whole point of it is to you know to, to penalize him for his start and uh, he's certainly been penalized all you have to do is have a look at a lap yeah. chart well drama upon drama what an afternoon at eastern creek raceway boy oh boy so now he gets shuffled right back in the pack Ambrose and Lowndes up to ninth and 10th now. I'm just trying to see where Murphy is in the overall scheme of things. He's buried. He's, <laughs> he's almost off, he's off our timing screen at the moment, so he's gone virtually right to the back of the pack. He's got to try and fight his way up before these compulsory stops start now. I have to say that the, uh, the judge of fact uh, for this championship season for the start uh, has been judging them more leniently than in the past. That was one issue that was brought up at the end of last year by a lot of team managers that in, couple, in some instances races were genuinely spoiled. I can think of one. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> for no apparent reason. And, uh, but 
if he has actually uh, jumped away now, it must have been such that it was absolutely clear and no grey area about it. I think he can be pretty sure that Murphy's going to be one of the first cars in for his compulsory stop. There's no point in sitting back there in that queue. Right at the back of the pack, he was 29th last time around, so he's gone right to the back of the order. I think you'll find, Mark, that a load of them, as soon as the uh, eight laps comes up, everybody in their aunts is coming in because uh, a lot of them got caught with their trousers down last time. Yeah, that's so. right. So the order, Scape, Bright, Radisish. Scape's been the fastest on the circuit so far with a 33-4. Well, we've had our man Nigel Greenway on the job. Gee, he's sharp, this guy. Remember, the officials deemed that 29 seconds was considered a stop-go penalty. Well, we've just done the sums on those in and out laps with Murphy. It was, in fact, 21 seconds. So maybe their uh, judgments of what a stop-go penalty was are a bit severe as well. So the officials coming down hard here at Eastern Creek. Here's Brad Jones in fifth position. This is a great performance so far from the Aussie Mail Ford team. And from Cameron McClay as well. Indeed. So it just shows you what track...